Hey, my name's Al Ackerman and welcome to the channel. If you like card magic, you've come to the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now today I'm going to be doing one of my favorite routines. It's oil and water. I've come up with uh, three versions of this effect over the years. This was one of my first versions. Let's take a look. Now we're going to have to uh, use our imagination because I'm going to have to play two roles, the role of the spectator and the magician. So it starts off that the magician hands the deck to the spectator and asks them to give him a good shuffle. So the spectator shuffles up the cards. So that's a real shuffle. And then the magician takes back the deck and the magician says, I'm going to shuffle up some cards, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get out some low valued number cards. All right. So we'll get out uh, four black cards, and then I'm going to also do the same thing here with uh, some red cards from the deck. All right, so we've got a grand total of eight cards. I'm going to let you get the uh, four black cards, and I'm going to get the four red cards. Now, if you would like to remember the values of these four cards, you can. All right, so there they are, one, two, three, and four. But the important attribute is your four cards are black and my four guys are red. Now we're going to read, here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to shuffle these cards in an interesting way. We're going to interlace them. There's a black. We're going to follow it with a red. And this is now going to repeat. A black card, a red card, every other card. So they are now alternating. This is our situation. Now watch. Just like that. These cards now unmix. Yeah. That's my one, two, three, four reds, followed by my one, two, three, four blacks. Let's try this again. Let's switch roles though this time. <clears throat> I'm going to let you get the... Uh, black cards this round. All right, so you get the black cards and then I'll get the uh, red cards. And once again, we're going to mix. We'll take one of mine, one of yours. Okay, there's one of mine. And you ask the spectator to grab any one of their cards and then show it around and put it right there. Here's one of mine. Ask the spectator to grab another one and show it around. And then you take your last guy and they take their last sky. So those cards are alternating. That's the situation. And yet, just like that, these cards unmix. Yeah, that's my one, two, three, and four reds, followed by my four black cards. Now, I tell you what, we're going to try this again a little bit differently this time. I'm going to ditch uh, these cards all over the place here. All right, I'll just shove them all over the deck. And then if you recall at the very beginning of this trick, you actually mix these guys up. You gave them a good mix up, just like that. So those cards are all shuffled up and yet, just like that, it happened again. These cards just will not mix. There's all my black cards followed by all my reds. Hey, if you enjoyed this effect, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy card magic, make sure you click on subscribe. Now, this particular routine is one of my first oil and waters, and I published it in this little book in 1973 called Here's My Card, and about 60% of the routine is in here. This ending where they separate at the end and how to get into is all there exactly like in this little book. Uh, I showed the routine in 73 to Roger Klaus, uh, Di Vernon, Steve Freeman, Ricky Jay, uh, Jimmy Grippo. And uh, 74, I, I showed it to Paul Harris. So, and it probably turned out to be one of the most popular items in this little book. Um, I would often do a different middle phase. So uh, Howard Lyons had this routine uh, and he, I think he published in 19, 
59 or 58 in a magazine called Ibidem, and he called the routine Wild Root. And it was just a great oil and water. And uh, in the mid-90s, I, uh, I added a second phase to that, and then I gave that to Mike Powers, and he published it in his Linking Ring column quite a few years back. So I sure hope you enjoyed the routine. My name's Al Ackerman, and I'll catch you next time.